What's up everyone, my name is Amy and I'm going to walk you through how to connect two monitors to a 2017 MacBook Air so that each monitor shows different things. If you've done your research and you just want to get to the physical and technical setup, I have provided timestamps in the description box for you to skip ahead. Okay, let's jump right in. So if you're asking yourself, what the hell is a dual screen extended desktop setup? That's a mouthful, I know. But it's basically when you connect two or more monitors to one computer so that you can easily look at and do different things on each screen like so. A common issue is that a lot of the time when you set your screens up this way, they just tend to mirror each other or mirror the main computer screen. And that doesn't really help with productivity at all. So I wanted this setup because personally, I felt as though having one screen was really limiting my productivity and slowing me down. I wanted to be able to look at three things at once without having to switch back and forth between tabs, which honestly, doing that just caused a lot of confusion for me, especially while learning to code. So yeah, this is what worked for me and what I specifically already had. So if you have any other specs and you find that this doesn't work, I'm sorry, son. You're gonna have to go and research a ton of crap online just like I did. Moving on. So what I do have is my 2017 13 inch MacBook Air and I already had these two monitors from a long time ago. What's important to know is that the smaller monitor only has a VGA port and the bigger monitor has both a VGA and HDMI port. This MacBook Air has either a USB 3 or a USB 2 port, I forget which and a Thunderbolt port, which made finding any information on how to set this up a pain in my arse. So these are the items that you're going to need. You're gonna need a VGA cable, HDMI cable, a mini display port to VGA adapter, and an external adapter. The type of VGA and HDMI cable you get is very important, so please click the links in my description box if you have my same exact specs. If you have a different computer or different monitors, you really have to look at the kind of ports you have because you may need to purchase different cables based on the size of your ports. See how both ends in this HDMI cable are the same size? You may need one in which the sizes are different. I believe they call it male to female. This is a male to male. Both ends of my VGA cable are exactly the same, but they also sell female to male VGA cables. A quick Google search will show you what those are and if that's what you're gonna need. So the kind of external adapter you're gonna get is probably gonna be dependent on what kind of computer you have and what kind of monitors you have. I chose my external adapter by looking at this bestseller list on Amazon. The first thing I did was check if the reviews are fake because your girl has trust issues. And then I looked to see if the adapters I was thinking of getting were compatible with my Mac or with Macs in general. Cause news flash, a lot of these external adapters don't work with Macs. Um, so yeah, just be sure to read the item description so you don't get something that doesn't work. I also looked for adapters that had a USB 3 or a USB 2 cable. And lastly, I checked the reviews to see if the adapter was easy to set up. Okay, so this is the physical setup. I basically connected one end of the VGA cable to my smaller monitor and the other end to the mini display port to VGA adapter. That is a damn mouthful. I don't know how you guys are going to follow this. Okay, let me say that again. I'm going to say it slower. I connected one end of my VGA cable to my smaller monitor and the other end 
to the mini display port to VGA adapter. And then I connected the adapter to my MacBook's Air Thunderbolt port. I then connected one end of my HDMI cable to the larger monitor and the other end to my external adapter and connected my external adapter to my MacBook Air via the USB 3 port. Okay, so the next thing I did was go to displaylink.com to download the driver. After following all the directions on displaylink.com, I really had a lot of trouble trying to get my screens to work. Um, so I deleted the driver and reinstalled it um, and I couldn't figure it out. So I had to troubleshoot, unfortunately. I hate troubleshooting because shit should just work, right? But it doesn't. Um, I had to troubleshoot. I provided the links that helped me in the description. I'm not gonna take you through that because you, I believe in you, you are smart. You can read through all of this and do it yourself. But if you do want me to go through what I did with you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm probably have to install the driver in another computer to show you guys how I did it. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Moving on. Once you have followed all of the directions, you should be able to see the display link manager in your apps. If you followed all the steps in the links I provided and your monitors are still not working or displaying, go to your max preferences, then go into security and privacy, go into screen recording, and right click display link manager and open it in your finder window. Then launch the display link manager. The display link icon should show up on the upper right hand side of your computer like so. To set up the layout of your screens, go to Preferences, then click on Displays, then click on Arrangement. I personally prefer for my screens to be set up like this because I can move my mouse between all three screens without having to cross one to get to the other, but you can set up your monitors to whatever feels more comfortable for you. Okay, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.